All right, I wanted to show you this article that I wrote yesterday on January 3rd, and you can see up here it's January 4th, so literally less than 24 hours. And this was actually ranking on the same day. Now, it wasn't ranking in the top 10, but it was ranking on page four or five. I'm gonna show you that. We can come over here into my SERP robot tracker. We're in over here on the website, and I can go click on uh, koala single and the difference between koala single and the koala over here is that the koala single I kind of tag that as I spent more time writing the article I uh, kind of uh, brushed up the article and I spent you know 15 20 minutes on the article instead of just copying and pasting the AI content that and then you know creating the post I actually spent time editing the article before I published it and so that's what the difference is so that is kind of how I track what's working, right? I like to test and see what's working if I just publish for straight from an AI writer versus if I spent more time doing research and providing helpful content. I'm going to show you how I did provide helpful content, but you can see that this is a search volume keyword that actually has searches per month. And right now we're currently ranked number 29. So what is that? That's on page three for best container gardening books. This is a only four word keyword, and it is also a commercial intent keyword. You can also see one of the other articles I wrote that is ranking as well with a good search volume as well. So we're going to go and check out the article. I can show you what it looks like. And I ended up putting 25 best container gardening books because commercial intent articles like this work well when you have a number at the front. At least that's what seems to rank the most. Instead of not having this right and just having the keyword best container gardening books, it's better to kind of, it's and more engaging for people to see, oh, there's 25 best uh, books. Okay, which ones are they? So I'm gonna show you the process behind that and so forth, but we'll just scroll through. This isn't, these are AI generated from Koala. We also have our internal links right over here, or I'm using a link whisperer. And then this really cool chart right here, I'm gonna show you how I created that. 25 best selling container gardening books right here. And you can see that if we have these ranked and we have the title and we have an author and we have the rating and the amount of ratings on Amazon and then the price right here. A really helpful table for anyone's and we wanted to do that really close to the top, right? So we have this giant article, it's about 1300 words. So it's not too big of an article. And I got all this information obviously from using the tools that I uh, promote to you guys, the tools that I use. We're using Neuron Writer, we put best container gardening books in here. I've got my title optimized. We have the description and title over here. I know that sometimes I forget to do those things and then my score is not good, but I think I have everything. I've got the H1 right there. I've got the title and the description, and then we have all these keywords. We'll come over here and check this out. <clears throat> all these green keywords, and I'll show you my process for doing that. And we were able to pull a 78 score right here. Now we do have major competition at 94. When we come over here and look, there is someone over here that has 94 right here and they have a, I don't know what this is, but it says it has 148,000 words, which is just nuts. We're definitely not going to be competing with that anytime soon. But you know, the trick is, is can we outrank, you know, 70% of the page and get on page one? I think with the content we wrote, we can, but certainly, you know, we have used a lot of keywords and we've got a lot of green and that tells me the end, the capability of the AI writer. Now you'll probably be asking what AI writer, I kind of revealed that already, but it was Koala. Koala is what I used to write the article. So you can see right over here, we have the article. And then when I publish, that's where the final, the finishing touches, where all the links come in. Koala does have some external authority links, automatic bolding of the text and so forth. But then I have the internal links from Link Whisper and then the automatically AI, AI uh, created Images are also from Koala as well. Okay, so I did also did something right here. We'll look at this, but the you know the word count is not that high. It says it's twenty two hundred. I mean, let me go and just highlight this real quick and see what the actual number ends up being. Of course, we do have the table that's going to add 
some of the words to it, but it's only an 1800 word article. So it's nothing crazy. And what we had spit out right over here was 1300 words. All right. So how did I do this, right? How did I provide that table and how did I provide that quality that will actually be helpful to the user, right? So we're talking about this table right over here. This is the gold right here. This is what is actually going to be helpful. It's factual information that I'm helping people out with, okay? And I do have, I just dropped a link in here for fun, but this will take them to an Amazon search that will actually be the best sellers for container gardening right over here. And so they can go and actually buy. Of course, these are going to change every single day. But in general, these are the books right over here. So let me show you how I did that real quick. So I went over to ChatGPT and I said, hey, use the information I provided to create a blog post table. The table should include the rank of the book, the title of the book, the author of the book, the rating of the book, and the current price of the book. Here's the info. Boom, right here. How did I do that, guys? Well, um, instead of fooling around with plugins and doing this and that and using, what is it, um, Harpa or uh, some of these other tools, I have tried them out and I end up getting frustrated because they actually don't work for me. They don't work the way that I want them to. And I've just found that ChatGPT is so smart that you can just paste content in here and it will decipher. And there's nothing more powerful than actually just pasting the content in here. And that's what makes all these GPTs over here that I've been working on as well, uh, making these really good over here as well. But when we come over here and we go to say the Amazon bestsellers right over here, I can go right here and I can say boom and I can go and pick as many as I want. But what I did was I picked 25 out. So I went all the way down here to 25. I don't really know what the 18 points, 13 points, whatever that means. But and then I do a control C, I copy that information. I go back into ChatGPT and you can see my prompt right over here. These aren't saved prompts or anything. I just do what's logical. And I say, hey, create me a table. I tell it what to do with the table. And then I pasted all that content right in here. And then it brought back and it kind of did a good job on its first try. Look at all this content I pasted. And it did pretty good. I didn't want the points over here. So then you'll see what I did. And then it also between 10 and 21, it just didn't, it decided it didn't want to put, add those. So then what I said, okay, nice job. A couple things wrong. Do not include a, in quotes, a point column. And you did not list all the books. There should be a total of 25 books. Here they are again. So we gave it another try. And then we'll come down here and we'll see what ChatGPT Chat GPT did for me. And then it did it perfect. Rank, title, author, rating, and price. And then I even double checked these and they were right. It was accurate. So it was able to take this just giant amount of information and stay within the lines and do a really good job. And we got the 25 right here. We have all the authors. This is a very helpful, accurate, factually accurate table that now I can, and what I did was I actually just went right here and you'll be surprised. I actually just copied this, right? And it actually copies over when we come into my site over here, we'll scroll down and I just pasted it in right here and it actually pastes really well. So this is right here. And then I put kind of came up with a heading. This isn't even SEO kind of based. I just put in there that this is updated 2024 and it's the top selling container gardening books right there. And then I added just a one little button if people want to go over there to get the books and so forth. Right. And so there it is, right? And then I optimized my meta description right over here. It's within the length that it needs to be. And then I have my a nice slug that's just the keyword I'm going for. So the basic SEO optimization is good. I added a container gardening category and then I threw in my featured image and then I saved the post and published it. I went and I did manually index it in a Google search console and it indexed within hours. And it and this is a, a fairly new site, right? The site's only like seven or eight months old and it doesn't have a whole lot of authority. But at the same time, you guys might ask, I know I've had some people reach out on this. If I go to domain DR checker from Ahrefs, let's see where we're at with my newbie gardening.com site. And I think that you'll be surprised to see that we have a domain rating of 35 and we have a domain rating of 35 within seven to eight months. We have 780 backlinks, 
linking domains 37. So the SEO part, I'm very, very happy with and very satisfied with, and we are starting to get traffic to the site. We can see that in the last three months, we have 805 clicks as well. It's nice and steady and we've had some good growth. If we actually come over here and just say the last 16 months right over here and apply that, you'll be able to see definitely the growth is heading in the right direction on the site. Pretty cool stuff. So then what I did was I also went over and tested and what I'm going to do is I'm, I went over to Hemingway, Hemingway, I pasted this in and I saw that the reading, readability score is terrible. It's just a very technical topic. And so we have a readability score of 14, not the best. And we have 39 opportunities to fix this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this process using Koala, using, you know, spending time writing the articles and not just spraying, you know, 50, 100 articles uh, a day or a week. That's a strategy. That's fun. Obviously, that's the most hands off way of doing it. But right now, I'm actually trying to, you know, just add more flair to the articles. And if that means that I need to come in here, and if it's something that I know about, I don't really know about gardening, but if it's on a site that I'm, you know, a topic that I know about, I'll probably actually just write the whole introduction myself just to add a little bit of human touch to the article as well. And then also go and, you know, when it's necessary, when you, if you can add a custom table like this based on real factual research, then that is going to answer the question that people are having on that particular topic. And you're probably going to have a better chance of ranking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of, you know, like I'm going to write best garden hose, water filter. I'm going to write that maybe tomorrow and maybe I'll do that live so you guys can see the process tomorrow. I'm gonna to follow the same process, but we'll see best garden hose filter is a commercial intent keyword. So I'm going to have to follow, you know, a similar approach with doing research and not just relying on what the is going to do for me. And so I'm gonna put the Hemingway score right here as well. And then I'm also going to probably add a column here. After I do five or 10 of these, I'm also going to add a column here. You want guys might wanna follow along with this kind of case study with just finding out what is going to help us rank better. But I'm going to probably subscribe to Hemingway because Hemingway actually has the ability to rewrite sentences for you make your AI writing bold and clear with AI and it can actually rewrite and make it a lot easier readability for us now readability isn't a direct from what I understand is not a direct impact on rankings but people staying on your site and understanding your content in a clear concise way and that's helpful and the readability is good that will keep people on your page longer and that bounce rate per page is a ranking factor. So at the end of the day, you can, it's not going to get you your initial rankings, but as you get your rankings and people find your content and they stay on your content longer because you have a better readability score, then this is what can actually help. So you want to stick with me because I'm doing kind of a test. I want to see if even, and then we'll actually be able to see if the readability score seems to give it a nudge in rankings because Google isn't really going to tell us everything, right? Maybe the readability score under grade 10 or grade eight really does matter. What do you guys think below? Leave a comment below if you think that it really does impact rank, the initial rankings on articles. Let me just see if there's anything else I wanted to share. Not really. So um, pretty cool, you know, an article that is a commercial intent keyword, a pretty low, you know, not a very long tail keyword. And it's ranking on page three right now for search volume. Pretty dang cool. Just wanted to show you that a little extra effort might go a long way. If you can write the introduction by yourself, write a little bit of experience that way. If you're in a niche that you have personal knowledge on, then you can actually go in there and write you know, real content on that. And it will only take you less than five minutes and then add something that's, that kind of goes the extra step or extra mile right here. And then you actually have a piece of content that you can actually be proud of that you could probably say could help people out. Okay. So I just want to share that one with you. Links to Koala will be below and Neuron Writer as well. You can still pick up Neuron Writer. Neuron Writer Neuron Writer is still available on AppSumo and it did win Tool of the Year for 2023, which was voted by Sumolings. This was the number one tool 
of the year. And it, I'm not surprised. It's a very, 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 very good tool. It have hit up sumo. You want to go pick it up while you can at lifetime deal links to these tools will be below. I'll see you definitely tune in tomorrow. Cause we're going to build one of these articles together. And then also we will be doing a couple more uh, reviews. I'm going to aim to do one or two reviews per week on app sumo. And then the other videos that I do will be like tutorial based type like this, sharing with what you sharing with you, what I'm doing to rank articles and so forth. Once I get the site up to right now it's getting about 1200 visit uh, page views per month once i get this up to about 5000 visitors i'll probably um, put some type of ads on here make a little bit of money and then i will be selling this site so super super cool stick with me make sure to subscribe and i'll see you tomorrow